Hi, everyone. Um, um, I'm Lisa. I'm one of Liz's oldest friends, and it's, I guess, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to talk about one of my oldest and bestest friends, Liz. So even though it's at the end of the night, I will take it. So to truly get a sense of my friendship with Liz and how it all began, I have to take you back to fifth grade. It was my very first day at Choice. I was this new girl from the US. And if you think I'm awkward now, imagine someone a million times more awkward back then. When our teacher asked us to become, um, our teacher asked us to choose a computer lab partner, all my social anxieties kicked in. I knew I'd be the only one without a lab partner. But then all of a sudden, this girl in nerdy glasses, <laughs> short hair, she had a mushroom cut, and she also had this thick white hairband, which was like Liz's statement piece back then. She comes up to me and she's like, hi, my name is Elizabeth. Do you want to be my partner? But you can call me Liz. And she was very insistent I became a partner. Although at first I thought she was, she was very forward. I'm like, this girl, she's very, wow, like she asked me. But over the next hour, all of my anxieties of being the new kid in school eased away. Looking back now at that fateful day in 2002, I realized how lucky I was for Liz to pick me as a lab partner. This is the epitome of Liz. Even at the age of 10, she was the most confident girl who saw an opportunity and went for it. She was someone who showed up no matter what, and she, was, she is the most loyal friend I've ever had. I moved around quite a bit um, since I left Cochin which meant one consistent thing in my life was change. Whether it be schools, friends, myself, I constantly was subjected to change. But through all that change, Liz was the one consistent thing in my life. She was my constant. I don't think Liz realizes how much I relied on her during these moments. But it was really the thought of her knowing she was there and most importantly, she never let me forget that she was always there. We became two different people, opposites actually, yet our bond was officially unbreakable. She was my sister. Wow, I'm actually tearing up. Wow, this is like embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> both good and bad, Liz is my sister. Uh, Ask us to share a room. Um, wow, I'm actually crying. <laughs> Ask us to share a room and we drive each other crazy. But if I ever needed her to beat up a guy, she'd be there, no questions asked. The thing about Liz is, she isn't someone who just loves anything. You have to earn it. But when she does love something, she is all in. Her family knows exactly what I mean. Whether it's picking the coolest computer partner, um, turning Miss Kerala into a nominee of Miss India, or molding her career path, something which she was like, eh, I don't know, dentistry? I mean, why not? But she turned it into something she's so passionate about. And Praveen, you're the next thing that she'll pour her heart into. The first time I met Praveen, I saw this whole new chapter for Liz. I see so many qualities in you that is going to enhance her life by miles. She doesn't even know it yet, but I see it. She's gonna love the adventure. Your calm demeanor will combat her spicy personality. When I say spicy, you know what I mean, right? Okay. <laughs> and honestly, taking a leap of faith to making a home away from home will be a very good thing for her. That being said, Praveen, there's another reason why I was rooting for you, selfishly. I know everyone here is very upset that Liz is moving to Canada, but obviously, I'm super excited you're bringing her closer to me. Not to Vancouver, like you can't choose a better place than that. Liz, I can't believe this day is here. 
We've always had a plan of being 85-year-old amachis on a park bench, feeding pigeons. But you couldn't have chose a better person to make some room, for that, some room on that bench for. Praveen, you may be your husband, but I will always be her computer lab partner. <laughs> Raise your glass and you newlyweds. I'm Sonia Tarikaran. I'm Tanya Tarikaran. And we are Elizabeth's oldest sisters. We are the people who have literally grown up with the bride, waiting in the hospital eagerly for a baby brother to pop out, and out popped Elizabeth with the chubbiest cheeks you could imagine. From her youngest days, whenever we three would play together, Tanya and I would be the king and the queen, and Elizabeth would always be the dog or the worm. Hi, 
Hi, Eva. She was too small to protest, and we thought she was very insignificant. She used to creep into our rooms, and she used to wear our medals and hold our certificates, and Tanya and I used to laugh at the little one who couldn't win anything. And yet, yet as Elizabeth always does, she surprised us by winning national level sports, dance, culturals, five beauty pageant titles, a movie, and she's just getting started, and she officially shut me and Sonia up. <laughs> From, uh, from being my roommate in Bangalore for a long time where we lived and worked together to my workout partner, our fashion consultant. It's very easy with Liz around. We walk into a store and she tells us exactly what to buy. So we steal all her style, her makeup, her clothes, everything. And it's very convenient. So uh, we're definitely going to miss having her around. At work, her bosses and patients talk about how polite skilled and talented she is and Tanya and I look confused. Are you speaking about our little brat? At home she is the baby of the family and our resident princess. She loves to do things her way and knows exactly what she wants and when she wants it. But to anyone who truly knows her, who is close to her, she is so loyal to the people closest to her and she's our fiercest defender. Even if it was her wedding day, she wanted us to look her best, and she kept checking on us. This is the Elizabeth that people don't see. When she is in your corner, she will always take care of you and fight for you till the very end. And Praveen, as Liz joins your family, you will have moments of pure happiness with Liz and moments of what the hell is she thinking? The solution to everything with Elizabeth is to have a sense of humor, make a joke about the situation, make her smile, and you will see her melt with peace and contentment. From my family to yours, wish you an exciting new adventure with my baby sister. Whatever it is, I'll promise you it'll never be boring. Thank you. I finally get to replace you with a better older sibling. Uh, I think I've come a long, long way from imagining my random seniors, actually my friends would testify, imagining some of my random senior girls uh, as my prospective sister-in-law to uh, browsing endlessly on Amazon, sorry, M for Mary. <laughs> Uh, to Ruby Andy, if she's here, big thanks to you because you finally made a match made in heaven. Um, you know, I really feel God works in mysterious ways because uh, Liz, you check all the boxes in my list to the T and I couldn't be happier for my brother to, find, to have found someone like you who is extremely beautiful in and out, you're caring and you're, you're the older sister that I've always imagined. Now when it comes to my brother, my brother has not only been an older brother to me, but he's occasionally worn the shoes of my mother, my father, my friend. So he's special. I'm not saying this because he's my brother, but he's always been special. And he's set an amazing benchmark for other men to follow too. He's someone who set an amazing benchmark for integrity, uh, intelligence, and um, something that he's taught me ever since I was a kid is to love with an open heart. This is something that I try and imbibe from him. And two other things that I try and follow after Praveen is something that he told me 10 years ago. The first being to always love with an open heart that I told you earlier. The second is something that's not just for me, but for everybody else. That is, your competition should be your, yourself. So this is something that I have etched in my heart for a really long time. So I would like to congratulate both of you today. Have a blessed uh, married life. And Liz, no matter what, I'll always protect you. You know I can be a big bouncer. I might be four feet tall, but I can always be a bouncer. And I'll always protect you and love you. Thank you, dear Anisha.
ിംഗ് <laughs> so once he makes friends he makes friends for life yeah so congratulations praveen and liz you make a awesome time
Mola mere 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 mola mola mere mola mere mola mere mola mere mola mere mola mere जिसके दिल में उसको पसंद करता है दिल में उसको पसंद करता है मौला मेरा थैंक यू आई आई फर्स्ट हैड दैट सॉन्ग इन 2007 आई थिंक इट्स द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल बैलेड एवर रिटन इट्स इन इंडियाज मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल लैंग्वेज उर्दू बाय द द लेजेंडरी सिंगर रूप कुमार राठौर I can't do justice to the song and I would have done better justice to it 3 hours ago when my tummy wasn't full because parts of the song go on for 7 to 15 seconds at once and I I I can't manage both food and 15 seconds away at once but thank you so much for listening to me uh, that song is for my beautiful wife Elizabeth and uh, thank you all for listening I know you guys have stayed till the very end ऐ मेरे प्यारे 
वतन है मेरे बिछड़े चमन तुझ पे दिलबान तू ही मेरी यार तू ही मेरी आब तू ही मेरी जान ऐ मेरे प्यारे वतन ऐ मेरे पिछड़े चमन तुझ पे दिल